The largest islands of Seychelles lie on the Mascarene Plateau. So even though the country is very widespread, the total area of the landmass is not that big. English, French, and Seychellois Creole. World's second largest coral atoll. Hey, cool! travel and geography related videos and it is winter you can take a look at my instagram account for winter pictures from norway but today we're zooming in on a place where there is no winter hmm, where are you here seychelles Okay, Seychelles. I love making videos about countries that aren't very well known. Let's zoom in and learn about it. Seychelles lies in the Indian Ocean and is an island state consisting of archipelagos and islands. Even though it is not on a continent, it is considered part of Africa. It doesn't share a land border with any other country, but the closest neighbors are the African countries Mauritius, Madagascar, Comoros, and the French overseas regions Réunion and Mayotte, as well as British Indian Ocean Territory and Maldives. But the closest mainland is in Somalia. And by close, I mean super far away, 1300 kilometers away, measured from the capital city. Seychelles consists of many islands. The biggest islands are Mahé, where the capital city is located, Paslin, and Silhouette Island. I'm probably mispronouncing a lot of these names. Other regions and archipelagos of Seychelles are Les Amirantes, lying southwest of Mahé, Coetivi to the south, but even further south and west lies Atoll de Facuar, an archipelago, and we also have these islands, Atoll de Cosmoledo and Aldabra, the world's second largest coral atoll. Hey, cool! So the country is pretty widespread. It is a little hard to spot the small islands in Google Maps, but if I have looked closely, the northernmost point of the country should be here, on the island Bird. The easternmost point lies on Coetivi, the southernmost point lies here on Atoll de Farquois, to be specific on Goulets, and the westernmost point lies on Aldabra, on Picard. So the furthest you can travel in Seychelles in a straight line is at over 1200 kilometers. So if you're at Aldabra, it is much closer to travel to mainland Africa than to travel to the capital city. Fascinating. So even though the country is very widespread, the total area of the landmass is not that big. Seychelles comes a number 180 in area, making it the smallest country of Africa. But it is bigger than Barbados and Maldives. With 98,000 inhabitants, Seychelles comes a number 183 in population. Also the least populated country of Africa. Less people than in the Oceania countries Tonga and Kiribati. But people are not alone here. There are 212 people per square kilometers, so Seychelles comes a number 44 in population density. In 1960, people could expect to live until the age of 63.4 years. In 2019, the number has climbed to 73.4 years, making Seychelles one of the African countries with the highest life expectancy. Many people live in the capital city of Victoria, with around 23,000 people. That's less than the city that I live in, and it's not even considered a large city. Other towns are Anse Boilo, a fishing village on the island Praslin, Belombre and Belvayom, close to Victoria on the island Mahé, and Anse Royal on the same island. Languages spoken on Seychelles include English, French, and Seychellois Creole. Seychelles is named after Jean Moreau de Seychelles, a French politician who lived in the 1700s. Seychelles was in French control after the earliest recorded sighting of the country by Europeans in 1503. So before that, it was probably uninhabited. So all of Seychelles' history is pretty recent. It's time for a street view and let's start with the capital city. So the capital city lies here on the island Mahé. Here is Victoria. Here is a botanical garden Gaia Fasse, a beach, nice. Cat Coco's birth, ooh, that's a boat. Oh, it's a ferry service. So you can take ferries from there. All right, let's just dive in. Let's go here. Let's see what happens there. All right, I see some people. It's a big building. Barclays Commercial, trash can, and here's a small market. People selling clothes. Here's the road and this building looks really cool. It's so colorful. I see blue, yellow, purple, red, white. So many colors. 
Just like the flag of Seychelles. What's this say? Jivan Imports? Yeah, I like this house. Oh, look, a street. Many people here. Makes me think of good old times where we could just walk all together without keeping our distance. Looking forward to doing that again. Must be a hot day. People are walking in shorts and t-shirts and tops. Well, since it lies pretty close to the equator, there are probably a lot of hot days. I like it. This is Trinity House. Is that a mall? I'm not sure. Cool, so that's Victoria. I want to see one more place. Let's try this one here. Okay, yeah, we're standing in the middle of traffic. I see a white statue here. I'm not sure what they are, but they kind of look like swordfish. Look, they have these pointy noses. Yeah, this is a roundabout. Many of the cars are white. I wonder if that's because of the temperature there to keep them cool. People taking pictures. That's a nice park in between streets. Here we have a mall. What is that? Central Point. A pharmacy. Yeah, that's an international sign of pharmacy. A green plus. And there is the flag of Seychelles. I can see it. It is so colorful. I like it. Okay, so let's zoom in on other parts of the country. Let's see. Let's check out this island. That's Bird Island. And there is an airport here that takes up a big part of the island. And just white beach surrounding the entire island. And there is Street View here. Let's check it out. We're going to the beach. Yeah, this is the beach. We have forest here in the background with many birds. Look at them. They look pretty big too. I wonder if they are seagulls or what they are. Are these footsteps from humans? I think so. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at this. The beach is so big and the water has a gorgeous color. Whoa. I love this. You can see so far from here. Yeah, you can stand here and watch the sunset into the horizon. You can go for a beach walk. And at the other side of the island, you can see the sun rise. Judging the location of the sun, it looks like this is in the morning. It's before 12, I think. I might be wrong. Let's check out other islands too. Go a little further away. Yeah, here are the Farqua Islands. Just look at this. And this small island there, St. Pierre. Is there a street view here? No, they are so remote. That's what makes it fascinating. And, and these islands, they just look so beautiful. Just look at this. There's not a lot of land, but they have post office here. <laughs> Let's try some more street view here then. Okay, I'm curious about this little island. Ile du Nord, North Island, I think it means. Hmm. Let's try that one on the road. What? A turtle! This is a turtle! Look at him! Wow! I love how people are taking pictures and putting them into street view. And especially when there's this big, big turtle. Wow! I wonder what this species is called. It's a big one at least. Oh wait, no, this is not a turtle, it is a tortoise. Yeah, there is a difference. In Dutch and Norwegian, the languages that I learned before English. They only have one word for that animal, but in English there are two. So this is a tortoise and not a turtle. Is he smiling? I think he is. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, I would definitely come to this island to see the tortoise. Yeah, we're in forests. Yeah, you can take your little small car to get here. Probably guides they can take you there. Oh, look, another tortoise. Oh, <laughs> another one. It looks like a rock, a big rock. Probably know each other, those two. Yep, I like Seychelles. The largest islands of Seychelles lie on the Mascarene Plateau. It is a submarine plateau in the Indian Ocean. It broke off from the Indian Plate many years ago. Here, the seafloor lies higher than the surrounding seafloors. But of course, where the islands are, the plateau is no longer underwater. Some islands are atolls, such as Alfonso Atoll, part of the Alfonso Group. An atoll is a ring-shaped coral reef. It looks really cool. And when it is an entire circle, like here, it holds a lagoon too. And that is what we see here too at Aldabra, the world's second largest coral atoll. It looks so beautiful. And here at Atoll de Cosmoledo, where there is enough space, we can find tropical rainforest. 
such as on Silhouette Islands. Next to Silhouette Islands, Praslin and Mahé are also granite islands, so they are pretty rocky. Here on Mahé, we can find hills and mountains, and the highest point of the country lies here, and it's called Monet Seychellois, at an elevation of 905 meters. Oh, and you have already seen it. Another beautiful natural feature are the white beaches. I love white beaches, I do. Opposite side time. A boomer ruler in the capital city, Victoria, moved it for 20,000 kilometers around the globe. And as usual, we land in the Pacific Ocean, but this time we are far away from land. It is hard to see land here. The closest land lies over 2,000 kilometers away, and it's the Marquesas Islands, part of French Polynesia an overseas collectivity of France. If you want to visit Seychelles, the first island you will probably visit is Mahé, since the international airport lies here. And there is a lot to do on this island. For instance, get to know the island by hiking. You can hike the Monet Blanc Trail. It starts here, in the Monet Seychellois National Park. And this is a pretty tough hike. It is steep. It goes up a mountain and takes between 40 minutes to an hour. Depends on how fast you walk through a beautiful forest to the top. And at the top, there is an observation deck where you can see the islands, the coast and the sea. Wow. The hike down again is about 30 minutes. The next travel suggestion I have for you is to take a ferry to Praslin. A popular thing to do here is visit the Vallée de Mai. Vallée de Mai is a nature park and consists of a well-preserved palm forest. The park has six endemic species of palms. That means that these palms only live here. Among them, the Coco de Mer, that has the largest seeds in the plant kingdom. So here you can walk around this well-preserved and beautiful forest. There are guides there that share their knowledge and just experience this unique nature. Hmm, that'd be great to see. Now we've been hiking and walking for hours. We need some time to relax too. So bring your swimsuit and your towel and take a ferry to La Digue to get to this beautiful beach called Ancestors Tangent. Look at this place. These rocks are stunning, as well as the sand, the beautiful clear blue water and green vegetation. This is so impressive. Of course, this is a popular destination. So if you want a place to yourself, you could stay the night at this island and visit early in the morning. Whoa, Seychelles, you are small, but you are rich in contents. So much beautiful nature, endemic species, beautiful beaches, atolls, lagoons. This country is pretty remote, but it'd be amazing to visit someday. These were some geographical facts on Seychelles. Next time we're going to go back to Europe, to Serbia, and we're zooming out. Thank you for watching, guys.